Rapping the food chain, rapping with the rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, murderous assassins are rapping. Yo guys, what is going on Tim Pursue and welcome back to another video on the channel. So, in today's video I'll be teaching you guys how to make really cool looking text for Fortnite YouTube banners in Photoshop. It's very easy to do um, and yeah, doesn't take much uh, effort at all but you can come up with some really nice looking uh, fonts, well not fonts, text. Um, so yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you are new. Let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next and yeah, let's get straight into it. So we are here in Photoshop. So this is a YouTube banner that I've already made. Um, and this is the text over here. I'll be showing you guys how to do something like this. So yeah, let's get started. It's very easy to do. Uh, I'm just gonna delete it. Like so, okay, so first thing you wanna do is go over to text and uh, the, the font that I'm gonna be using is Burbank Big Condensed, which is the Fortnite font. So here we go. Um, I'm just gonna do the exact same name as before. Um, and with Fortnite uh, fonts, uh, and YouTube banners, it often looks really nice to have um, like one part, one letter white and then the other letter, another colour and then the other letter white again, just alternate between the two, but you can just keep it like this as well. I also like to press Ctrl T and then if you hold Ctrl, Shift and Alt and drag to the right, it gives it a nice um, like slant effect. Uh, so the next thing, if you just double click on the layer, go to gradient overlay, set that to overlay, and then bring down the opacity a little bit, make sure the angle is on 90, and then add an inner glow, and then just rasterize the layer style, and then press Ctrl J to duplicate it. Uh, and the next thing, what you want to do is go to um, pixelate, mosaic, and Keep it quite small, something like 15 or 16. And then go to filter, stylize, find edges, and press Ctrl I to invert the colors. Uh, and then go to filter, filter gallery. Uh, and then if you go to the brush strokes, you've got all these cool effects over here. And to be honest, all of them look really nice over the top of the effects that we've already done like this sprayed strokes looks good the splatter spatter these two are very similar um, but I like the spatter one and if you copy this 8 and 4 you can mess around and increase it but I think this looks the best uh, if you press OK you get this really cool like sort of electric looking um, overlay and what I do is press Ctrl U and bring down the saturation so it's just black and white. And now if you go to the layer style and go to lighten, um, you get this really nice cool overlay over the top. As you can see if I zoom in, it makes it it makes it less boring the font. Um, but also screen looks nice and colour dodge. I usually use screen. Uh, and yeah, once you've done that, just group them together by pressing Ctrl E. In fact, no, don't press Ctrl E. Um, what you want to do is on the first layer, um, the solid colour layer, go to the pen tool and you want to make some cut marks like this, like a little triangle, then go to make selection and press delete on the keyboard and you get this really nice little cut uh, and yeah we just like cutting pieces out of the text and it looks really really nice like so and maybe one down here as well But yeah, that is pretty much it. As I said, it is very, very easy to do. Um, and I think that little effect over the top just makes it look really cool. Um, it's just a nice thing to add to your Fortnite YouTube banners. And then if you just press Ctrl G, group them together. Maybe you want to rotate it a bit more. 
Um, also, what I like to do is press Ctrl J, and then the one below it, press Ctrl E, and then press Ctrl U and make it white. Um, and then bring it on top. And if you press Overlay, it just brightens it up a little bit. And then if you go to the Eraser tool, you can rub out certain points so it kind of looks like it's glowing in certain areas. As you can see. Uh, and you can also, if you add a new layer, go to the Brush tool and then go to Yellow or whatever colour you're using. And in certain areas, just add a spot and set that to like Colour Dodge or something. And once again, it makes it look like it's glowing. And that really does fit this YouTube banner style. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys, on how to make a really cool looking text for a Fortnite YouTube banner. Um, like I said, the font is called Burbank. You can get it, I think you can get it on dafont.com. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the video, if you want to see more videos like this, hit the like button um, down below. Let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next. Subscribe if you're new. Also, guys, um, I just want to say I am taking orders for designs now so if you're in need of like a youtube banner or a logo or a header or a thumbnail anything like that uh, just message me on twitter and i will get back to you but yeah i hope you're all having a sick day today and i'll see you in the next video